you're ready, it's going to say leaning now, one, two, three, and you're going to push straight down. Okay, and I just try to lean as far forward as possible. Okay. All right, ready? Leaning now, one, two, three, push. Go ahead. What are you doing now? Um, I did a fair amount there. <laughs> <laughs> I, think I, yeah, made, I, I think I made him nervous by saying don't forget to push straight down. But um, <laughs> obviously, I mean, we have a lot of patients that will use this device that have had a stroke or have other deficits that may not allow them to be as strong as Alan is. So it's going to depend on how much work is either going to be on the physical therapist versus how much the patient is going to do. Um, the reason I ask Alan to help with that stand is he needs to be in the proper balanced position to make that stand successful as the hip and knee motors both extend at the same time. Okay. All right. I already adjusted your ankle. Does it still feel good? Where your balance is? Oh yeah, is? I feel fine. So a lot of people have a misconception that you know the PT puts this device on and just takes the patient for a walk. And people will come into our office and say, "Hey, I just want the robot to take me for a walk," and that's really not what this device is. This device is meant for full interaction by the patient, so which allows for learning, which allows for balance, which um, I love actually as a PT. So, you gotta figure out how to control that leg. Remember, there's. Yeah. I don't want to overstep. Yeah. <laughs> there, there is a little learning curve because, like I said, the engineers also used. Um, they tried to negate the weight of the leg. So now he's actually carrying some of the weight of the exoskeleton. It feels, it doesn't feel heavy at all. Yeah.